guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's vlog, I'm going to be looking at some houses. I'm so excited to go look at houses and share it with you guys. But first, I need to get ready for the day. So today's sponsor is BioClarity, which is my holy grail skincare. And you guys always ask me how I keep my skin so clear, so I wanted to share it with you. I use BioClarity religiously. It is the only thing that has like worked for my skin and completely cleared it up and made it evenly toned and taking the redness away. It's so smooth and clear. It's literally amazing. So the new skincare routine I have been using by them is called the Ultra Calming Routine and it's got three easy steps. Plus there is a mask that I'm gonna be sharing with you as well. So the three steps are just the cleanser and then the Zen, which is the Ultra Calming Serum. And then I use the Hydrate, which is the moisturizer. So the Zen and the Hydrate both have Floralux. And y'all know that I love me some Floralux. I talk about this every single time I tell you guys about my new skincare because Floralux is a game changer. So if y'all don't know what Floralux is, I will just tell you really quickly, but it is a deeply nourishing form of chlorophyll, which is derived from plants. It helps reduce the appearance of redness. It boosts your natural beauty. It is very nourishing, it's nutrient rich. So to put it simply, it's pretty much superfood for your face. BioClarity does have three different routines, all for different skin types. They have their clear skin routine, which is for acne prone skin. They've got their essentials routine, which is for normal to dry skin. And then they have their ultra calming routine, which is the new one that I've been talking about. And that is for sensitive or redness prone skin. So I've been using it just because I get a ton of redness on my face and I hate it. And you guys, it's seriously taking it away and it's just evening out my skin tone and I'm obsessed. So they also just released two of their new masks. They have the Pore Purifier, which is the one that I use. It's a clarifying mask. It's great for oily, acne-prone skin. And then they have their Glow Getter Hydrating Mask, which is great for normal to dry skin. So if you guys still aren't convinced that BioClarity is the best skincare out on the market today, they are 100% vegan, cruelty-free, paraben-free, sulfate-free, gluten-free, and fragrance-free. So they're pretty much just amazing all around. So if y'all wanna try out BioClarity for yourself, I do have a coupon code that you can use. It is just Liza, L-I-Z-A, and it will save you 40% off any routine plus an extra 15% off anything else. So it's a great deal. And now that my face is all fresh and clean, let's get on with the rest of our day. It's always so awkward driving in the car when you come to like a stoplight and then the people pull up next to you and they can totally see that you are legit talking to yourself into a camera. It's so awkward. So I'm so excited because as you probably can tell from the title, we have started to look at houses. And I've been telling you guys for months now that Alex and I have talked about moving and that in the new year, we were going to finally decide like where we wanna move, when we wanna move. Um, and you guys know that we've been even thinking of moving out of state. So you're probably wondering, well, if I'm gonna go look at houses now, like obviously around where I live in Maryland, then does that mean that we're staying here? We don't really know right now. Um, Alex has a few very important meetings this month, one coming up very soon, and then like I think another one, which will help us determine whether we pretty much have to stay here for his work, or if we can actually venture out and move to another state. So we will know this month, we just don't know for sure yet, but we're thinking since we may end up having to stay here anyway, then maybe we should just start looking because I've been searching online for a while. Uh, I love looking at houses online. And I found a few that like I really like, and one of them is having an open house today. And the other is like a community of houses that are like brand new, like they were just built. And so I'm gonna go talk to someone over there and like look at probably like the model homes um, and maybe any houses that have been built already because they're literally like just building them. That's what we're doing today. Alex couldn't come because he is working. He's also taking care of Cam as well. And I am just gonna pick up my mom and she's gonna come with me. So I'm so excited, you guys, to look at these houses. By the end of this month, we'll know for sure whether we have to stay here or if we can start looking around um, like more in the south. You guys know that I'm really interested in moving to like Nashville or Georgia or even Texas. So 
um, yeah, we'll know soon and I'm gonna just keep you guys updated in all of my upcoming vlogs. I'm hoping within the next six months, like we can sell our house and move and everything can be like said and done within the next six months. So who knows if it will be like right before the baby comes or like right after, but sometime around then. Um, and I am due in May with my second baby if you are new to my channel. So the first place that we're gonna go right now is about 30 to 45 minutes outside of like where I live already and I live just outside of DC I live in Bethesda Maryland so this place is actually another county um, around the area but it's about like 30 minutes away and they have I think they have two or three huge developments the area is really really cute I've always wanted to move out to this area just because it's more of like country living i mean not like full out country we're still like in maryland but it is more of like the countryside and not like right in the middle of like the city or like any like congestion it's just more quiet more simple and peaceful which is exactly what i want um and then the other house that we're going to go to is an open house and um that is more like closer to where i live now um, and it's an open house, so it's like a used house. I think it was built in the 90s at some point. But it's like completely renovated on the inside and it's really beautiful, so I'm excited to go check that one out too. Love me will be easy if your colors were like my dreams. Red, gold, and green. Red, gold, and green. I knew that it was now or never. Those were the best. Oh my god, it's so nice. Is this an oven? Oh my god, that's so cool. And that's another oven? So I'd be hosting Thanksgiving, obviously. I might have one of these. So like I said, this model is probably strapped for the hard is a four bedroom, four and a half bath. Oh my god, look. Well, I'm adding it. So see, this is like the kind of kitchen like that I want, as like opposed open. as yes, as opposed to that of the kitchen in that other house. Like this is upgraded cabinets. Oh, I love the cabinets. Look at the mud room. Yeah, I like this because you come in and you. Put is this the garage, back. or did he say the garage is a garage door two? Oh. Oh, so it's two garage okay. Yeah. Like hand come over school and put all this stuff in. Aw, that's so cute. Yeah. Look. A little laundry room. Is this the other garage door? Garage door. Do they sell the model? Yeah. Furnished? <laughs> yeah. So is this the master? Uh uh. This is just one of the this bedrooms. Is, um, for the old lady mother law. <laughs> this could this would probably be so the master's upstairs. Mm -hmm. I wanted a master on the first. Well, unless the master is humongous, this would be the guest room. Oh my god, look how high the ceilings are. You hire a maid who flies. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, oh my gosh, no, this is the master. This is, ins this is crazy. Look at this. There's not, oh, there are double sinks. They're just open to each other. <coughs> Toilet room. Look at the tub. This is, do you think this is extra to get like this tub? And then look at the shower. This is bigger than the bedroom. Oh my god, is this a walk in closet? Oh my god. Okay, this might be like a forever home type of house. I would love to buy a furnished house. You can buy this There's a warehouse that they put all the furniture in and you get it really cheap. So this is another room with a bathroom. Cam would have his own bathroom. So here's another room with a bathroom and closet. Oh my gosh. And this is the fourth. Oh my god, look at this room. Oh my god, I want all of this. I seriously would love to get it already furnished. Oh, yeah, every single room has a bathroom and walk in closet. Jeez. Oh my god, how cute is this? I love it. That's beautiful. But it's not as private, I don't think. Because you know you have all the neighbors. Okay, so we just left one of the developments, um, like one of the communities, and now we're driving around the other one, but like, there's no houses built yet. Wait, well there's two, that one, right? Mm -hmm. And then that one? So there's two built here in the other um, neighborhood that we were looking at. There was like a few built, but for the most part, like it's just empty lots. So we would like have to pick a lot and then like have the house built like the way we wanted. Um, Oh, look at this. That's so pretty. Isn't that pretty? Do you like that one? But these houses are gorgeous, like you guys just saw. Like, they're stunning. But a lot of that stuff that was shown in the model home was all, like, extra features and stuff that you would have, like, add-ons and stuff like that. So, I mean, I doubt we would get that many add-ons. I just don't know if we'd need five bedrooms, although I do want a guest room, and we need an office, too, so that's just all stuff that you can add and then you can add like an extra garage although I don't think we need like two separate garages but Alex may want one for his gym so I don't know lots to think about I'm like loving these houses though they're so beautiful um, but we are gonna go head to lunch and then we're gonna go visit we're gonna go out to one other house It's really pretty. Yeah, it is. See, like, look. Look at the park. The playground. There's the playground. So this is just one of the bedrooms. So this is the master. So this is the loft? Yeah. Okay. 
another bathroom. So the two kids would be up here. It's a lot of steps. Oh, this is where the movie theater is. I know, they made it into like a movie theater thing. Oh, this is cool though. There's a step. That's really cool. I love this part. <laughs> Pancakes? Yeah. You had pancakes for breakfast. I want one. Well, do you want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Yeah, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay. Okay, I'll make you it. So, I just got home a little bit ago, and, oh my gosh. The first houses that we went to that I showed you guys, like the model house, were, that was so stunning. Like, it's like, that's a true dream home to me. Like, it was beautiful and big and gorgeous and open. I love the open floor plan. I love, like, being able to be in the kitchen and see the living room and see, like, your kids running around and being able to, like, see the TV. And if you have guests over, it's perfect for entertaining. It's just all in all, like, that, the, that was the perfect house. So I'm looking over some of the papers. These are, like, all the different models of the houses that you can get. And the lots are huge, like it's just beautiful. It's gonna be like a brand new neighborhood. So I'm hoping lots of like younger families will move in with like their kids so that Camden can grow up in a neighborhood with like young kids. Cause right now we live in like an older neighborhood and there are little kids in this neighborhood, but it's like a mix. So there's like a lot of old people too. You know what I mean? I remember like when I grew up, my parents had moved into like a brand new development with like new houses and it was all young families. And literally Alex's family lived in my neighborhood which is just crazy alex and i grew up on the same street so it was just like all younger kids we all played in the neighborhood we played like hide and go seek and like ran around and it was just so much fun growing up in that neighborhood so i really want that for camden and for this for this little guy right here my mom and i went to the next house which is the one that was like built in the 90s it's nothing like the pictures like the pictures made it look so 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 much better um it was really closed up there was like lots of walls and like separation between all the rooms it was not open whatsoever and it was very narrow there were like stairs going up to like two different levels and they had a basement downstairs it's just not what i wanted or what i pictured at all so that's a no but i'm glad i went to go check it out and i told alex like not interested anymore at all your baby brother to come out to your belly. You want your baby brother to come out of my belly? Yeah. You do? Yeah. You want to play with him? Wow! Ah! 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 Dinosaurs! No, they're nice dinosaurs. They're nice? Oh. So I was just about to edit my video and then realized that I didn't even do an outro. So I popped back on here and there is something, one more thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about regarding the whole house situation so the first house that i took you guys to which was like that beautiful huge brand new build that i'm in love with that house is in howard county which is about 40 minutes uh from where i live i live in montgomery county and the second house you saw that i wasn't in love with it was like very small very like all the rooms were very separated it felt very closed in not a lot of land that house was in montgomery county so closer to where i live now if you can believe it those two houses are around the same price and i'm just telling you guys that because i want you guys to kind of get a feel for like how overly priced montgomery county is the area that i live in is ridiculously overpriced and you just don't get enough for what you pay i've always said that our house is really small and um i've had some of you even comment and tell me that i live in a hut and that's not really that far from the truth but i would definitely say this is probably like the most expensive hut there's ever been just because of where we live we would get so much more buying a house in howard county for the same amount of money and honestly like right now i'm totally down to get our dream house to get our forever home like if we do find it but Alex is kind of in a different mindset. He is the kind of person that doesn't like to take on debt at all. Um, you guys know he's a workaholic. I always talk about how he works around the clock and it's because he doesn't want debt. He doesn't want to have to borrow any money, take out any loans or anything like that. Even with the house that we're in now, he paid it off a few years ago. And so he doesn't ever want to have a mortgage again. Ever since he paid this house off, 
he has just realized how nice it is not to have any debt and not to have a mortgage. So going forward, he doesn't want to have a mortgage and that is why he would rather get a house that's more in between what we have now and the dream house. So like something in between. Um, and of course I'm all about getting, just going for it and just getting the dream house. And something he always tells me is like, price is what you pay, value is what you receive. So he did say like, if we do end up finding our dream house right now, he doesn't mind taking out a mortgage if like the opportunity is right. And if he finds that it is the right value. So that's just where we're at right now. But I did feel like I should kind of explain all of that to you guys. <clears throat> while we are going forward and um, you know taking you guys along with us uh, looking for a new house I just wanted to you know be completely open and clear and transparent with you guys so you kind of understand like where we're at right now in our house search so yeah I'm just so excited to finally be doing this I cannot wait to finally get out of this house and move so of course if you have any questions at all leave them down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I'm gonna be having lots of really fun new moving videos hopefully coming up soon for you guys and I'm gonna take you guys with me everywhere every time I go look at a house or anything like that I will definitely take you guys along um, give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one bye Thank you.